Hey everyone, Rick here, and I just wanted to go over some Eslo terrain that I recently picked up. Now I'm telling you folks, now in prior videos of mine, I have showed off some of this Eslo terrain. Now this is a German miniature terrain manufacturer, and I've been in love with their merchandise for probably the better portion of the last decade. Folks, this is the Cadillac of miniature RPG war game terrain. This is all pre-finished. This is ready to go right out of the box. Now, don't be turned off by the fact that it's from Germany. I'm telling you now, first of all, they have free shipping at a certain threshold. That's right, free shipping to the United States at a certain threshold. So if you're worried about shipping costs, don't be, because if you pick up a few of their pieces, more than likely you're going to meet that free shipping threshold. It is not uh, that outlandish at all. But the attention to detail, folks, in these terrain pieces is just simply amazing. You could go to, you know, you could commission this kind of stuff from, you know, another terrain manufacturer. But I mean, they have an entire website just full of not only this is all 25, 28 millimeter scale terrain, but also they have 15 millimeter and they even have some other stuff I might go over later, which is just amazing. But I mean, just take a look at this. Well, I, I what I want to do also in the future, because there is not enough love for this terrain on YouTube, there there are a few unboxings, but when you type in Eslo terrain, E S L O, and uh, there's a whole, uh, you know, when you pull up a page, search result page by searching that, that I have a couple of my videos that pop up, and there are a couple others. Most of them are actually from Eslo themselves, but I do want to eventually take a closer look at this stuff individually. But for now, I just wanted to take a overview of just some of the different things they offer. They have a whole river system. They have curves, straights. I mean, just the, when you, I don't know how well this translates through the camera, but their river system is just gorgeous. You can see the banks, you can see the water glistening, you can see the different grasses and different lichens that are uh, accenting this. Now, one of my favorite things, honestly, is a lot of their stuff is in are in these white boxes, which just makes storage a breeze. But they have, so here, for example, is a spring that you can have a, one of your river sections redirect into a spring. So instead of going off the board, it can end up right here. And again, Let's see how well the detail will show up here. Look at the rocks. Look at the grass. Look at the tree stumps. Tree stumps end up getting integrated into the grass. It is just gorgeous little flowers just all over the place. I mean, this just looks like the most scenic piece of terrain I've ever seen. Again, yes, they have the 90 degree corners. You might see some kind of current work on there to resemble a flowing body of water straightaways in all different kinds. Uh, since I do have a bunch more of this stuff um, that's not in this video, go take a look at another of my videos. Uh, I don't remember how much of my other collection is in that, but uh, the point I'm trying to get to is there's several different kinds of these straightaways. So they have straightaways with like this island in the middle of it. They have just the plain water straightaways. They have uh, ones with rocks in them, ones with a dock, with a ford. Uh, all sorts of different kinds. So that's their whole river system. Obviously, you know, T-sections, curves, straights, springs, all sorts of things. It's just gorgeous. And yes, what are you going to need if you do a river system? You're going to need a bridge. The bridge fits perfectly over any of their straight river sections. And I'll show you their road system in a little bit. They have a couple different kinds of roads, too. So just some other pieces. And I mean, this got... I'm in Nebraska. This 
arrived in Nebraska from Germany with hardly a scratch on some of this stuff. It is incredible. Here is also one of my favorite pieces. This is a house with a little storefront. So they have some vegetables for sale there. I've stuck a mini in there before, so you can absolutely stick a little shopkeeper in there if you want. And the paintwork on these is fantastic. The sculpts are fantastic. The landscaping on them is fantastic. I also, one of the other things they have are huge... Uh, mats, not a map, but like like squares of grassy terrain that is flocked the same way as these buildings. So when a building is on one of those, it just blends in seamlessly. But I love that they do their buildings on these like templates. Also, you can get inside the building if you want, decorate it on the inside if you wanted to, maybe furnish it because yes, there's furniture too. Some of this stuff is actually 3D printed. These guys are on the cutting edge and they are coming up with some fantastic stuff. They also do custom work as well. They have castles, buildings. They have a whole modular castle system that you can have them 3D print. But so, for example, this little building here, I'm pretty sure is one of their 3D printed buildings and it comes apart in different pieces so you can get into the interior and then there's the base down there just looks awesome here is a little stone cottage with a little garden out front again you can get into there if you want this is a modular Tudor style house Lift that off, you have access to the second floor as well as the first floor. One of my favorite pieces is this ruined tower. So stick that in the middle of your battlefield, fight over that, just have it being on the outskirts of your battlefield just as some accent terrain. But I mean, come on, look at that. Is that just not so amazing? I mean, good grief, I fell in love with it from the first time I saw it. This is... Like a little guard outpost. Access the interior there so you can get up to that floor as well as get inside here. Oh, they have this little gallows, which is pretty awesome as well. And it has a little stairway that you can get up to it. Stairway is separate, but... That's another really cool piece. I mean, just look at the like the dry brushing and the paint on there. Folks, I know sometimes pre-painted stuff that you, you get in the mail, you almost want to kind of touch it up yourself. No, there is no need to do that here whatsoever. Here's a windmill. I just love their landscape. They've been doing this for so long. They've got it down to a science. Little, you know, out crop there. And it, yes, you can get inside the windmill. Trees, rocks. This little like guard tower is really awesome because you can get inside each level of this. And additionally, you can get into the next floor as well. So that is also removable. And then they have expansions for it. So you can, if you don't want this kind of uh, crenellation work on top. You can do this instead. So put this on instead of that and then just kind of have almost like a wizard's tower kind of style. There's also expanded floors so you can make the tall uh, tower even taller if you want. Then they have a ton of this kind of stuff that is totally modular where like this is a cemetery. So there's all sorts of little ruined pieces, scattered terrain kind of thing, graves. So when you when you're moving a unit in a war game into this like Warhammer Fantasy, let's say rank and file, move them in here and then just get rid of this stuff and uh, put it to the side. But uh, but if you're not occupying that terrain feature, Leave it in there and it looks gorgeous. One of my absolute favorite pieces, folks, is this gigantic 
corner piece. So stick that in the corner of your battlefield. That's just awesome. It does kind of have a uh, access point there, whereas on this side it is strictly, you know, kind of a steep hill. Some of these trees uh, did not actually come on there. I just put them on there, but otherwise you can kind of see there's kind of a trail, kind of a path that goes from one level up to the next level, but they have all the trees and rocks there. I love their trees as well. A uh, little shack here. You can get inside there if you want. Again, flowers, vines. Here's a little stable with a little water trough with some water in there and some hay inside there. And then what? one of my favorite things are these kind of forests. So when you are playing a war game, you have a forest. Other companies do this too where you have basically the template of the, you know, the boundary of the forest, and then you have the trees themselves. But I've never seen one look so good right out of the box. So here is an example of a small forest. So there is the boundary template for that. Obviously move the trees when your unit gets in there. Here's one that's kind of a hill. So it's a larger one, but it has different elevations on it. Again, tons of trees to move around there. Here's one that is just ruins, just ruined pieces you can move around. Here's another house. Get on the inside there. All the little barrels and stuff on the outside. Here is a ruined castle tower piece. Some of the trees you can move around. Some are stagnant in there. All of these tree sections here were actually free gifts because on top, they, folks, they have so many promotions so many incentives for you to purchase from them. Not only do you get free shipping at a certain threshold, but they'll give you free gifts at times. I don't know if this promotion is still going on, but if you spend a certain amount, you'll get one of these uh, tree sets. In fact, I think it was if you spend a certain amount, you'll get a tree. Then you'll get two trees, three trees, and then the full amount gave you the whole thing. I ended up... If that, if that gives you any indication, because I will tell you it's not cheap. I'll tell you right now, the product itself is well worth the price. I would pay it every day, twice on Sunday. But if that gives you any indication of how much this all costs, I got four full sets of those things. But that's just fantastic. The road system. There's so much to get into. I don't want this video to go too long. I, again, I'm going to separate this, not separate this video, but I do want to separate this lot out into smaller videos and do full detail work on at least some of this stuff. But here we go. This is their cobblestone street work. And this is lightweight. You can take this around with you. Here we go. So straightaways, just awesome See if we can focus on some of that detail work there. And so a bunch of straightaways, but obviously, of course, they're also going to have the curves and then an intersection, which is excellent. I'm going to skip over to the other side because they have this other set of rows, which is just the way. So kind of a dirt row with, you know, the wagon wheel tracks in it whole bunch of those straightaways, uh, straightaways, curves for that as well. And then also another uh, intersection there, which is fantastic. The attention to how this all lines up is just great. I mean, it's going to look good uh, the way that it all hooks together because they made it you know, they actually spent some time when they're making these to make sure that they're going to look good when you put them next to each other. Additionally, this, look at this hat. Now, come on, your board is going to be so modular when you can then go from cobblestone to the way. Now, this was not a custom request. This is on their website. Go check them out. I'll have the link in the description. You're going to lose yourself when you log into that website. It's going to be fantastic. They have all these different little pieces, like here's just a little well, here are some wheelbarrows. You know I love accessories, so they have a whole section of accessories. We'll get into that in just a second. 
but also all these little things. These little scatter pieces you can use however you want. However, specifically on the website, they'll mention that you can replace like a tree in a forest with one of these. So instead of having a tree there, you can put a skull in the forest. Or in addition to the trees, these little things can be added to the forest or just left on their own. But how cool would it be to stumble across like a necromancer's altar in the forest with this skeleton on it? If we can focus a little bit better on that. So how cool would that be? And know you need a way sign absolutely to tell you where you're going. Piles of skulls. Here's a little altar. Uh, just a little ruins maybe you want to stick in the forest. Here is kind of a rock archway. Uh, what else have I not talked about? This little watchtower is kind of cool. Plenty of space for a figure up there. Um, and then, yeah, we can talk about some of these accessories now because... Oh my goodness. So I got like almost two of all of uh, these accessories because come on. So yes, tables, chairs, benches, stools, beds, bookshelves, bigger bookshelves, a bar counter, just all sorts of things. Mix and match. And then this kind of uh, guarded uh, fortification kind of thing. So there's kind of some of these individual fences and then one large fortification. Here's a larger template for uh, maybe a bigger forest boundary with some stonework, uh, like a fallen column in the forest. There, trees all look beautiful. Even just on the base. Okay, come on and focus. Even just on the base of the individual trees, the detail work is awesome. Here's a long hill, so, you know, stick that in the middle of your battlefield for some extra elevation. And then, last but not least, this is not actually 25 millimeter. This is some another scale. There's nothing stopping you from using it with anything you have. And in fact, I absolutely am going to be using 25 millimeter ships uh, with this. Maybe not so densely packed with all these islands, but... So these are just a couple of these boards, kind of foam boards painted, but then they have this whole island and peninsula system. So here's one of their small round islands. There's a longer island, and of course they have these large corner peninsula style pieces. Uh, the road work and the docks on those indicate that it's definitely maybe for a smaller thing. Kind of like Sails of Glory, you know, those little tiny ships. Napoleonics, whatever you want to do with that. Glory days of the age of sail. But, oh my gosh, I have so many ideas for this. So this was just an overview. Ooh, under 20 minutes. Awesome. Of... Some of my recent Eslo terrain pickups. Folks, this stuff looks gorgeous right out of the box. Uh, they also have a discount when you reach a certain threshold, too. So not only free shipping, maybe free gifts if that promotion is still going on, but also just a flat percentage off your total order if you reach a certain threshold. Customer service is amazing. Anytime I emailed them, I got a response. Shipping time, once it was shipped from Germany to the United States, I don't know, maybe a week and a half, two weeks tops, not bad at all. It was packed splendidly because, like I said, just a few things I had to hot glue when they came in, but otherwise everything looked exactly as you see it here. If you want ready-made, fantastic-looking terrain right out of the box at a reasonable cost, you're going to get what you pay for, absolutely. Then check these folks out. Again, link in the description. Take a look. Hopefully, I'll get some time to do some closer single-section videos for to get a closer look at some of this stuff. But, folks, I am so excited. The problem now is storage. Where am I going to put all this? Oh, good Lord. That's my problem, not yours. Thank you all so much for watching and until next time.